Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add email validation to your Contact Form 7. It's quite easy to do. I'm going to assume you already have Contact Form 7 installed and you have a form created. In this example, I just have the basic form. So whenever you install Contact Form 7, it creates a very basic form for you, which is this right here. This is with the styling that's in the Aveda theme. I didn't change any of the styling manually. And what we're going to do is add a second email field. Right now we have one, which says your email is required right here. We're going to add a second one, which asks to confirm the email and it compares the two to make sure that they are the same email. And then you can submit the form. So to do this, we're going to go back into our dashboard, go to plugins and then add new. And we're going to type in contact form seven email confirmation. This is the plugin that we want right here on the right hand side. I'm going to click on install now. Once it's done installing, I'm going to click on activate. Now it will take us to the plugin page once it's activated. And then following that, we're going to go to our contact form editor. So we're going to hover over contact and click on contact forms. And we have our basic form right here. You may have a different one. Go into whichever form you want to edit. And then you'll see an extra button was added called confirm email. So I'm going to duplicate this label right here, our email label. And I'm going to say, please confirm your email. I'm going to delete the short code we have in here and then click on the confirm email button to add and customize the confirm email shortcode, make it required, click on insert tag. And now we have a confirm email field. I'll click on save right here. And we'll go back to the form to see how it looks. Back to the live form, I mean, refresh this page. And now we have a confirm email field. The styling is off because it's not a, a default contact form seven field. So Aveda does not have styling built in for this field but it's easily added. Um, that's the topic of a different video, but it's easily added with CSS. But if we add an email here, so we have my Bjorn at wplearninglab.com email. Then I put in Bjorn at launch time media email. And I just have test subject, test message. Just add my name in there, click on send. And because those are two different emails, we get an error message, uh, not a very helpful one, but still an error message saying one or more fields have an error. Please check and try again. Now, if we put our correct or we put the same email into both and click on send, the email was confirmed, the message was sent, and there you have it. That's how you add a confirm email field to your contact form seven. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out wplearninglab.com where we publish more tech tutorials just like this every single day. Talk to you soon.